in this video i will show you a configured itop so i have uh, configured this already so that you can easily understand the concept and the steps to configure the software so in my next video i will configure from the beginning hi today we will see how to configure the software for our organization before that let's see how we organized our support team for user request resolving here we can see that this is our organization name mailserverguru.com and under the organization we have three support team here application support team desktop support team and system support team each team has a responsible manager here mm rahman munna naim rahman and mahbub brahman they are the manager and each team has two support agent who will work under uh, the manager when a customer will place a ticket it will come to the itop central dashboard here we can see here this is the central dashboard of all open requests and the respective manager will see the tickets of the services he is responsible for we will configure this later then the manager will assign the ticket to a support executive of his team so how the operation will go we will see in upcoming videos today we have to prepare our organization environment in the software so to configure the organization we have some steps to follow if you see the image here i have listed all the required steps inside the software to configure first we have to create the organization then we will create our users this user means the uh, the the clients the support executives the managers everyone and after creating the user we have to create the team the support team and we have to add the respective member to the team here if you can see the configuration management contacts here we can see all the users we can see all the user from here this is the first page second page or we can see all the user from here now if we see the team here is the team so we have created application support desktop support and system support team so if you see the application support we have three members here tony bentel m rahman munna and mike tyson three members are in application support if you see other team desktop support we will also see three members of the desktop support team so in this way we have created user and we have created team and we added the respective uh, support agents uh, to the team at the fourth step we have to create customer contract here is the customer contract customer contract is a is an object it's an it's a required object if you can see that what is a customer object customer object uh, is a customer organization customer contract customer contract it, this customer contract has a start date and an end date so the services we will provide to the customers has a customer contract valid timeline so it has a start date and an end date so within this date or within the date range or time range uh, we will be bound or we will be allowed to uh, provide the service to our customers so this is a required object actually so 
after uh, creating the services we have to we have to bound a or we have to add a customer contract with the service so this is a required steps so after creating the service contract we have to create service family and service service family is we have only it service if we provide some other uh, support service then we can um, add those support service at id service family so we will see this service family and services like this suppose raha here we can see that these are these are the services desktop support laptop support these are the services and these are the service subcategory actually the actual support what we are going to uh, provide to our customer so these are the service subcategory they will um, customer will select a subcategory and they will uh, put some title and description and they will just submit the ticket so service are the uh, you can say the second um, level of uh, service description first is the service family um, if we have uh, some other sort of it service then we can add those as service family and the um, service and the service subcategory will be under that service um, it service category uh, service family category so uh, so service family is the top object here so after creating the service family we have to create the service here we have desktop support laptop support network support printer support security support server support so these are the sub service main service category that we are uh, uh, providing to our customers and when customer will log in to his dashboard they will find this uh, service like this and the actual service or the granular level service will be under the uh, top level uh, service category so within the desktop support we, we can see that we have os service pack upgrade pc problem uh, software issue and within the laptop support category we have laptop battery charger issue laptop hardware service in this way we can we can uh, categorize the sub uh, we can categorize the services so i hope um, you already got the picture actually so these are the services and each service if we modify we can see that each service will have an organization customer contract with it and if we go to the service subcategory then we can create service subcategory and that service subcategory will be under a specific service then finally we have to create a service delivery model and add support member to delivery model delivery model is actually the service delivery model uh, it's an object it's an itop object and we have to add our customer or the organization to the service delivery model and the support team members we have to add the support team members to the delivery model otherwise uh, during the uh, ticket assignment to any agent we cannot see the team and let me let me show you these are the open requests and if we modify during assignment if we do not add the teams to the delivery model we cannot select any team it will not appear here so we cannot select team we cannot select any agent under that team so we have to add the team members the support executives and managers or we can add just teams under the service delivery model at the 10th step we have to create itop user for software login uh, in itop every user manager 
uh, agents everyone are normally user we have to add it add all the user here at first then to log into the itop system or itop software we have to add those users and we have to uh, add some level of privilege to those users uh, so that they can log in and they can uh, perform their function inside the software so so we have three category of user number one is the managers who will be the top level uh, administration of the software then we have the agents who will do the uh, service request uh, uh, service service responding or the service solution and the third level is the normal user so for example munna is the service manager so we have added the uh, some user here if we modify munna then we can see profile that we have added the profile and he is an administrator and some other privilege i have uh, assigned to him so this is munna and if we go if we see that uh, mike mike is an agent so we have added uh, some privilege to him, but we did not select the administrator as administrator. We did not make him uh, any administrative um, uh, privilege. We didn't uh, give him actually. So, and then if we see our normal user, who are actually the client here, Raha and Nina, they are the customer actually. So, if you select Raha and if you see the profile, then they have only the portal user privilege. So that's why when Raha logged in, he got this uh, customer portal. So this is the um, last configuration step. And to run the software, uh, we need all these steps, all the all the um, eleven step here mentioned to run the software as uh, as a minimal configuration. Uh, itop is a is an enterprise class uh, system um, we we can manage or we can configure this software for large organization i have mentioned here only the minimal configuration required to run the software for a single organization so after after these 11 step we have some steps left which is email notification setup we will see we have to we have to configure the email uh, server information on the configuration then uh, to send or uh, to notify the user or agents or manager about any task we have to uh, create email trigger and we have to um, add some action with the trigger so we have created here trigger when a request is assigned trigger when request is closed created resolved and we have, we have added some action with each uh, email notification uh, triggers so i'll show you everything uh, from the from the beginning so no worries and we will uh, later Later we will configure, we will show you how to design the dashboard. We can see that uh, here we can see some default configuration here, default views. So we will change this view. We will uh, design our dashboard and we will set our uh, user preference. So after completing this, you will be able to uh, run the software properly for your organization. And still, if you didn't uh, subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And if you see that my video is helping you, uh, please share the video so that other people also can get uh, help from this free software. I will see you on the next video.